There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, a boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, chromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Welcome to the scientific terms of the condensation polymer and biomass chapter. In this chapter, we're going to go, or in this video, we're going to cover the, all the different scientific terms which were mentioned in your syllabus requirements and in the videos as well. So I'll cover them bit by bit, but the reason why you should know these is because they could come in your HC and exam questions. So they'd be in the, it could be in the exam questions themselves, or it could be really good to be used in your short answer questions to get extra points. So I'm going to cover them one by one. First is condensation reaction. In a condensation reaction, we have the loss of water. So if a condensation reaction has occurred, that means it was a loss of water that resulted from that reaction. Condensation polymer, that was a joining of monomers together with the loss of a small molecule, which is often is water, but it doesn't have to be. So in a polymer, it means you have different monomers which are joined together, and you have loss of a water molecule to form a condensation polymer. Functional group, that was a group that gives a molecule its function. So for example, if this were ethanol and we have these OH groups, um, that would be its function group, the OH group. We have cellulose, which is a component of plant cell walls. And cellulose is a, a polymer from, formed from beta-glucose monomers. And all plant cell walls have cellulose. Biomass was a carbon-containing plant product. So biomass was, cellulose was an example of biomass. Ligand is an example of biomass. But it's just produced by the plants. And it's got lots of carbon in it. Cellulose, again, would be that example. Fossil fuels, that's energy derived from fossils as opposed to biomass, which is energy derived from just plants or trees. And fossil fuels, example of them would be petroleum or coal. Petrochemicals, again, it has the word petrol in it. These are chemicals derived from petroleum. Petroleum, that's crude oil. So the stuff we drill, that's petroleum. And then we can have petroleum, we can make it into its fractions, and we can get from petroleum, we can get petrol, for example. Hydroxide, that's our OH groups. These are our function groups, our OH groups. That's hydroxide. Amine groups, these are our amine groups here, NH2. And on this molecule here, we have our amine groups right there. And this is actually a carboxyl acid group. Um, but these are our function groups, and they make up quite a few of different molecules. We have biopolymers, these are polymers produced by enzymes or organisms, whereas a polymer by itself, you know, might not be produced by anything biological, whereas a biopolymer needs to have something biological, such as an enzyme or organism, to make it. And polylactic acid, that was an example of a biopolymer, because it was made by bacteria. And lactic acid, that's a monomer that makes polylactic acid. So if we have lots of monomers, lots of lactic acid monomers, we can make polylactic acid. Lactobacillus bacteria. This was the bacteria that was actually used to produce polylactic acid. We have fermentation. Fermentation is a removal of carbon dioxide using yeast or bacteria. And it's often when we, for example, have glucose and we produce ethanol, we lose some carbon dioxide in the process. And that's fermentation. Hydrolysis is the adding of water molecules. Um, lignin is the component that makes up wood. So we've got lignin and cellulose. These are two more main parts of plants. Got a glycosidic bond. This was a bond between two glucose molecules. So if we have a better glycosidic bond, that makes two glucose monomers into a polymer, eventually, and so, such as cellulose or ligand. And these are examples of this. Insoluble. That's the opposite of soluble. Soluble means it dissolves. Insoluble means it doesn't dissolve. And for example, we said cellulose does not dissolve in anything. Biodegradable. This means it degrades naturally. So whereas Non-biodegradable means it takes thousands of years to degrade, or millions of years sometimes. Because biodegradable means that it just occurs naturally and it will de decompose and de break down by itself. So I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.